underperforming state-owned companies have been the bane of Zimbabwe's treasury, which has now been granted approval to dispose of, merge and restructure some of the cash hemorrhaging businesses. Highlights from the list of companies to be subjected to reforms are the privatization of meat processor cold storage company, which is pursuing a joint venture with Swiss and UK-based investors, as well as the consolidation of three power companies. With respect to Zimbabwe Electricity Supply Authority, that is ZESA, ZETDC, that is the transmission company, ZPC, the generation company, ZESA Enterprises, that is the manufacturing company, the decision of cabinet is that the boards of ZETDC, ZPC, and ZESA Enterprises are to be dissolved. A single ZESA board will be established to take charge of ZETDC, ZPC, and ZESA Enterprises. 17 mines under the Zimbabwe Mining Development Company, as well as two mobile network operators, a commercial bank and postal services company are to be partially privatized. Let me point out here that where prior partial privatization is to take place, government will explore opportunities for using the stock exchange to promote the involvement and ownership and participation by the public through share ownership schemes. An indigenization and economic empowerment board has been absorbed into the Ministry of Industry following reversal of the contentious laws in all but two sectors. Government is cutting its losses in two companies, one of them a moribund glass manufacturer, which are to be liquidated. Details of the exact savings to be realized from these reforms were not readily available, but they are likely to be significant. They will also improve the viability of the businesses and help attract foreign capital. That will aid the new administration's bid to lower the country's debt burden and to end years of economic decline. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.